Today I'm going to show you how to hide a little bit of that ketchup and mustard. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. Really excited about today's episode. It's the last upload for 2016 and uh, I got a couple of milestones I wanted to mention and a couple of things about the channel I wanted to mention so I'll save that stuff for the end if you guys are interested in checking that out. Don't forget to stick around. Now as I mentioned a quick second ago we are going to be looking at, well it's indirectly mentioned, but we're going to be checking out the EVGA power link today. This is basically a bar that EVGA made that runs, uh, basically connects your 6 pin or 8 pin or 6 plus 8 pin or 8 plus 8 pin really, uh, connects to the top of the bar and runs the cabling down the side of the graphics card. So the nice part about this is uh, you pretty much won't have cables hanging over the top of your card. So in some people's cases obviously they're going to have nice cable sleeved cables so they may not even really care about this but for me in this old case that I have obviously aside from the other stuff I have going on in this old case I have the, the ketchup and mustard you know. Nobody likes to see those ugly cables you can kind of see them in the background I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to check this thing out today instead of doing like a formal unboxing though. I think I'm just going to kind of open it on camera here and then we'll see what's included and uh, from there I guess we can plug it in and see if I have any issues so that being said I think I have a knife here so there it is let's just open this thing up I'm going to try to keep this like in frame so you guys can see what's going on and we'll see what comes included So, now for those of you guys who had purchased a GTX 1060, 1070, or 1080, before these came out, I believe there was a window where they were providing those for free, so I'm not sure if that's still open or not right now, but if it is, you guys might want to check it out. So you do, you do basically included get a PowerLink manual, which nobody is going to read probably, the box obviously, and... Oh. I guess I'll show you guys. This is how it comes packaged. If you can see, looks like you have your six pin or eight pin. What is this? It's a six pin connector. You have the bar itself, the bar itself, which has installed a eight pin, two eight pins actually, if you guys can see that there. And then it has a fancy little EVGA logo on top. It actually does feel like pretty heavy duty. It doesn't feel like a cheapy piece of plastic. Um, and then it has two rubber grips on both sides there but aside from that there's not really anything too exciting about this I guess you would say um, so I'm guessing somehow these guys come out so I'll have to figure that out and I need only one 8 pin for my card so I'm gonna get that figured out and we'll plug it in and see uh, what comes included so I did figure out these rubber grips on the side if you can see those they actually do come off and it looks like there is allen keys or not allen keys there's allen uh, screws in there and that's what's holding these bars in. So that is probably why the kit comes included with an Allen wrench. So looks like you don't need any tools for this other than what's included. So let's take this thing apart and uh, put it in. As you guys can see, the install of the power link is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is make sure that the power link has the one or two adapters that match your graphics card in the correct corresponding order, and then make sure the spacing is done correctly to where the power link is still going to be able to round the corner on the edge of your card without you know bending or tweaking or anything like that. 
In my situation, when I did the install, you can clearly see that my case is not cable managed correctly. I'm not too concerned about it, and I'll, I'll mention that in a quick second why, but I did run into issues where the bottom of the power link was hitting my 24 pin cable, and then I had another issue where, because my cables have been in there for so long, the six pin plus two was kind of bending in a way that was actually bending the, uh, the power link bar, so, I ran into some issues like that, but honestly it took like 10 minutes for me to go take everything apart, take the graphics card out, make sure my wiring is all bent correctly, and, and you want to make sure you do it right. You don't want to just kind of quickly throw something in there and you know potentially cause damage long term because you just wanted to save a few minutes. Another thing to keep in mind is if you guys do have a hard drive installed directly behind your graphics card or above or below, uh, make sure that you have enough clearance for your cables to clear, and of course your hardware actually not to, to run into each other. I don't have the measurements of the power link with me, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below to EVGA site so you can see all that. And I'll, uh, maybe I'll just throw the, the measurements in there themselves. Now for the exciting part, well at least for me, the exciting part of the video, I did mention in the beginning that there was a couple things I wanted to talk about. First thing is uh, my subscriber count has grown now to 500 subscribers. Well, uh, before while I'm making this video, I'm at like 498, 499, somewhere in there. So uh, I. I think it was five videos ago I made my 100 subscriber video, which is kind of crazy. Obviously my uploads haven't been completely consistent over the last month or two. Things have been a little crazy for me as well as I'm sure it is for you guys during the holidays. But uh, you know, I just wanted to say thank you guys for helping me kind of grow the channel. It's kind of crazy to think that it took me 20 videos to grow to 100 subscribers and then just five videos later I was able to grow to 500 subscribers and uh, I think I'm actually going to hit Right before the new year, I think I'm going to hit 500 subscribers and I think 50,000 views. So thank you guys all for the support. Hopefully I can kind of keep continuing with this and keep bringing you guys good quality content. I know I have some cool things planned for 2017. Um, one, the other thing I kind of wanted to mention is for those of you who were here for the first 100 subscribers and maybe some of you guys after that have seen in my other videos, I talked about moving all my hardware to my new case. And I think it's finally going to happen. I'm, I was waiting on a couple things to happen. And uh, it seems like the stars are aligning correctly to where that's finally going to happen. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping the next video I make is going to have something to do with that project. So um, if you guys, I, I appreciate everybody's patience. I know it's been a long time coming. There's going to be some cool stuff coming up. Thanks again for the continued support. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, feel free to subscribe. If you guys have any questions about this video, as always, leave them in the description below. And of course, until next time, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. I'll see you in the next one.